The topic of today's video lecture is the types of nanoparticles. So in this video, I am going to explain what are the nanoparticles, how are they formed and what are the different types of the nanoparticles. So moving on towards what are the nanoparticles. The nanoparticles, as the name indicates, nano means 10 raised to power minus 9 meter. So, the nanoparticles are those particles that have a size equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter and that is equal to 1 nanometer. So, these are extremely small particles and they have size from 1 to 100 nanometers. So, due to such a small size, these nanoparticles exhibit physical, uh, exhibit unique physical, chemical and biological properties that differ from their bulk counterparts. So, okay, so how are these nanomaterials are formed? When the bulk material is broken down into so small particles that the size of each particle is 10 power minus 9 meter, that is 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer, then these nanoparticles, these particles are known as the nanoparticles. And these nanoparticles have very much different properties as compared to the bulk material from which they are formed. So, the nanoparticles have improved surface area and this improved surface area is used for example in highly catalytic gold nanoparticles. Okay, As you know that gold in the bulk form is inert but when you break the gold into nanoparticles, these nanoparticles have high catalytic activity. Similarly, when talking about the antibacterial properties, the nanoparticles also have improved antibacterial properties. For example, antimicrobial polymer foil with silver doped TCP particles. Talking about hardness, the nanoparticles have improved hardness. For example, high surface hardness in nanocomposites. Similarly, they have improved electron band gap like that in efficient solar cells. They have improved electric properties and magnetic properties. So now, moving on towards the classification of structures based on dimensions. So, the 0D nanoparticles are those nanoparticles that have all the dimensions in the nanoparticles range. Okay, so what are the dimensions? As you know that there are three dimensions, X, Y and Z. So, if a material has the dimension X, the dimension Y and the dimension Z, all of them in the nanometer range, then such a nanomaterial is known as the zero dimensional nanomaterial and the example of that is nanoparticle or quantum dots. So, as you can see here that 0D particles have all the dimension in nanoparticle in the nanometer range. So the example here is quantum dot, the fullerenes and the gold nanoparticles. So now what are the 1D nanoparticles? So 1D nanoparticles are those nanostructures in which only one axis is out of the nanometer range. So taking an example here is the metal nanorod or ceramic crystals and also the carbon nanotubes and metallic nanotubes and gold nanowires. Okay, so talking about the carbon nanotubes, as you can see here that they have a long length as compared to the diameter. So the carbon nanotubes have length more than 50 centimeter, whereas their diameter is only in the nanometer range. So, carbon nanotubes are the 1D nanostructures because they have one dimension out of nanometer range and while, while other dimensions are still in the nanometer range. So, moving on towards the 2D nanoparticles, as you can see here, the 2D nanomaterials are those that have the dimensions, the two dimensions out of the nanometer range and two dimension may be the XY dimension, the YZ dimension or ZX dimension, they will be out of the nanometer range whereas the third dimension will be in the nanometer range so let's just talk about this nanomaterial here as you can see here that let's just say that this here is the x dimension and this here is the y dimension so in this case as you can see here that x and y dimension are very much greater as compared to the z dimension as you know that z dimension is going out of the plane is going upward the z dimension is going upward and as you can see here the width of this this layer is very much small this width is in the nanometer range whereas as you can see its surface its surface is not in the nanometer range and its surface is made up of two different dimension whereas the third dimension is in the nanometer range. Moving on towards the 3D materials. So in 3D case, we have 
all of the dimensions out of the nanometer range. So in that case, we can say the bulk nanomaterials, the polycrystals. So these are still the nanomaterials, but they have the all of the dimension out of the nanometer range. So there is the polycrystalline, the dendrimer, the liposome, the bulk nanomaterials. So all of these are the nanomaterials classification based on dimensionality. So that was all for today's video. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comments. If you have not subscribed the channel, please make sure that you have subscribed it and press the bell icon. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.